Hey guys, it's Two Shot, and as promised, here is the video commentary of Deserted Farm. That's it. <laughs> the new Alds Online skirmish, and it is amazing. It is so much fun. I love it. A lot of people don't. I think that's maybe because of the scenery and atmosphere. Sort of, it's a bit dark and uh, iffy. But anyway, I love it. It's pretty good. Um, we lose this one. Yeah, but. Hey, I promised I'd get you one, so this is this one I did. I haven't had much time to play lately, got a lot of study to do. But whenever I get one, I manage to film it and always try to put it up. Anyway, so if you saw there, we all dropped off a cliff after it started, and I think that's so people can't run into others' bases and spawn, um, kill them. Right there is a cannon, which you run to and fire it, basically. There's a lead cannon, our cannon, our base, their base, and, um, yeah. Uh, so basically there's one banner in this, this is a single banner. Uh, what you want to do is try and get it as fast as you can because the team that gets it generally gets a huge upper hand given it's one point. It's the only source of points in this, so. But anyway, I like to run around and go to their cannon first. As you can see, that's the cannons firing in. What they do is they deal like a lot of damage and they knock you down. So I see the scout coming and I'm like, yep, I'm not going to let them try to break up the scouts from sniping. And yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> So basically, on my way to rush the cannon, I always get as many as I can. Uh, only one at a time, but usually there's quite a few around there. Um, I try to avoid the middle circle at the start always, but towards the end, once you've got cap, which didn't happen this one because we lost, but I like to go around uh, running in that thing, just sort of hiding in the house that's around there. I've, so the cannon, cannon can't see me, but when they try to cut the flag, I break them up. So anyway, this is their cannon. I'll just show you how the cannons work really quick. So basically, you click on that and then puts you to this cannon screen and then you click as you heard it firing, click again, heard it firing and you'll see them coming in now. See that's the this fly through there and that's that I'll let him take over now. And then I saw he get got attacked by a warden. And so I'm kinda of playing where the turn around I see. And then I see it's two V one. I was quite confident he could win the one V one but if it's two it's probably not there, so I go to take out the scout boom. Which is pretty irritating because he's jumping all over the spot, but I got it. I use my um, hmm, yeah, it's it's a racial. I use my racial to reset the amount of my blink attack so I could get there faster. So basically, techniques. People have been asking me while PvPing. Um, I get asked this a lot in game and a lot out of on YouTube through personal messages. What I like to do, if you haven't noticed, is I like to circle strafe or kite around my opponent when I'm in the in a melee battle. And when I'm not in a melee battle, I like to leave all of my cooldowns of my blink attack and all of my range attack um, out of the way uh, so I can get to them fast. Basically, I, I play a bit of a ninja style. This is because I'm still low geared and stuff. I have only astral green and blue gear, whereas the people you see me fighting here have full legends. <laughs> yeah, these guys have a lot better gear than me and generally better runes. So that's why I like to play more of a ninja style. I'm just checking to see what's on cooldown. That's why I use Smoke Cloud, Invisible, Mount Invisible, just anything I can sneak up on my opponents like that. You'll see most of the time, um, I come up from behind the backs of my opponents, they don't come up from behind me. This is not because I'm a ganker, I get called a ganker a lot this, but this is mostly because of strategy, I, I think. I like to, um, I, will, I basically, uh, while I'm PvPing, I'm also trying to think of where they'd go and where we'd go, and I look at my teammates' health, seeing who's getting attacked from where. And so it just helps me sneak up. So basically, we're taking on a summoner and a side and a side gear. It's like up to the side side <laughs> uh, Summoners generally, that guy wasn't, but are very good in group situations when they're by themselves because they can spread um, uh, dots with damage over times around on every player, and then they can just heal themselves if they're well enough geared and ruined. Like some summoners, I know they will eventually prevail. Unless, of course, the other team has good DPS. So you'll see I'm invisible here, I'm looking around, scouting out the stuff, there's some advertising again for the server mode. And then I see this guy alone by himself, I think everyone else did, everyone else is went through the non ninja way. But then again, they can take the damage better. That's probably my main weakness, taking damage. I can deal damage well, but can't take it. Obviously, because I have level 4 defensive range, I'm gonna change that. Anyway, so I'm looking around and I'm thinking, yo. <laughs> This guy's charged in, finish him off, and I'm looking at that healer out there and I'm like, oh, he's not really much of a threat, there's a whole lot around him, um, but this Psyker is because he can CC, or group CC with telekinetic pull. So as I'm attacking him, he uses this little bubble, 
It makes me miss a lot. That's what I know it does. <laughs> it's really irritating. And I kill him and some summon is on me and it's like, oh god. So I use Smoke Cloud CC the pet best I can and start attacking the summoner. Uh, anyway guys, too much um, talk about PvP, not enough talk about strategy. Um, as in, not tactics and single PvPs and strategy but throughout the whole of the um, skirmish. So basically, you want to cap the cannons first. You want to have control of the cannons and, and then probably get control of the flag, unless of course you can control the flag first with a strong enough rate. But once you have the cannons, um, then you can constantly be firing them in. Obviously you need one person to fire the cannon down there and probably a few on defense. I'm going to say you have three people on each cannon, one for firing, two for defense, and the rest in the middle. Basically once you've capped the flag, you just keep firing the cannons in and you just keep interrupting them. So the fight becomes more about the outside than the inside. This is good because it allows balance for lots of players who might not be as geared or anything as um, some other players. I mean, you can use cannons, your weaker players can go into cannons and pretty much play their part in the team that they usually can't. Um, I go AFK here, guys, sorry. <laughs> uh, but that's because my mouse, if you hadn't noticed, oh, you, probably, you probably hadn't, but from the time uh, it started, I'd, I'd either run out of battery. I was like, trying to look for a mouse <laughs> sort of as I was playing and eventually I was just like F it I'm gonna get up and get my mouse. Anyway yeah as you'll see I've got the patronage 5 thing around me. I'm using my patronage 5 buff for this um, this deserted farm. I was gonna say which is hollow. Um but yeah the, basically the way patronage 5 works as I described before is if you hand in hundred holy symbols it gives you a two hour buff and you need ten thousand total but that's just Temporary buff, while they're on the way to getting the total um, amount of holy symbols. Um, as you can see, this this guy likes to go back to this spot, and oh, I was AFK back there. That was it. I got AFK, I think. Oh no, I don't. I don't. And like that scout went invisible. I'm gonna keep spamming AOEs, and then suddenly he's behind me. Like, oh. and then that's probably the annoying thing about scouts. The one thing about versing range scouts is you want to keep them CC and make sure you have blink attack, so you can constantly jump towards them. And as you'll see here, my team is kind of fairly even, but we do lose for a pretty obvious reason. We don't, we're just PvPing around here. They have the cannons. If you notice, I'm getting hit by those cannons and knocked over, and so is my teammate. And all of them. And so I'm like, then I decide to hide in this house because there's cannons, and I'm a coward. And just as I go to heal up, that damn scout came back. I was like, wait, <laughs> didn't I kill you? Apparently not. And then I died. This was just as, as you heard the sound of my Patreon because I clicked on it before I died, but for some reason it didn't work. Anyway, basically this is this is actually the first time I've died on video, I think. So yeah, I try to avoid the whole death thing. You know, try to look like a bit of a demigod, even though it's obvious that I'm not with my astral green gear. But um, yeah, that's what happens if you die. You just basically go back to the starting point, or if you own the flag you spawn in the main village, which is quite an advantage because all this running time's gone. Except, um, yeah, it's, it's always the same spot you spawn, so the other team does know where you spawn and can spawn and attack you in the um, village if you own the flag. That's probably the only weakness. And that's a good thing because it allows more balance, obviously. When you don't have the flag, you have a safe spawn and good time. Unless, of course, the other team's completely dominated and that your spawn just on the edge of that cliff, which doesn't usually happen. Right here, I'm hoping that this guy's gonna fire the cannon and it'll look cool, but he didn't. And then he, well, he did just after I turned the camera. Um, anyway, yeah. So basically, surf merges next week. I'm pretty happy about that. What else do I want to talk about? I've been ranting about the cash shop a lot lately, I should probably ignore that. Um, people have been asking me as well to do ship these ship PVPs. They want to see astral videos. I would do that, and I really would love to. But the thing is, I've never actually been in an astral ship PVP because I've never really. Well, I've been in because I've been playing so long. I've been in all the guilds. And I've left all the guilds. It just happens. I've gone. I've gone. Out, I've probably taken a few months off in total during that time. And in that time, I've always left guilds and stuff. And, you know, personal reasons. There's a lot of politics in this game. Which I think is sparked from a slow server population. You see the same people every day, so you get into arguments with them, etc. Anyway, I try to avoid that altogether now. I try to just, um, you know, totally forget about all the politics of the game, just keep to myself, which is what I've been doing lately. But anyway, yeah, I've never really had an astral ship, ship PvP because, um, 
Yeah. I just haven't really had the option. Personally, I don't go Astral much, or Astral these days is mostly teleport oriented, it's not really about flying, which I think was a dumb concept to do. You can now pay for charges to teleport to Alods instead of having to fly, which is kind of lame, but anyway. As you saw there, that scout just tried to gank me again. She keeps coming up from nowhere, which is probably what I do to others a bit, and it just didn't work. Oh, there's another glitch with this new server um, patch. Um, I think that'll be repaired soon. When I do my slash sign to get rid of that shiny thing around my head, I have to do it twice. It only happens with Pat 5 though, which is really strange. Maybe they did it on purpose to show off the symbol a little longer, because <laughs> it does have a little a different angle. I think I died for my second time here. I only died twice this one. Um, or do I? Sorry, gotta keep a bit of ambiguity in the air. <laughs> So right now I'm just trying to bitch it because I'm a coward and I go back to my little hut and I'm like, did that scout see me coming? There she is. Is she going to come in and kill me then? And yeah, I'm playing chicken right here. I can see that my team is losing, as you can see where the red flag. Except, and I see that this guy's trying to, I don't know what he was doing on the flag, but anyway, I was like, I'm going to kill you. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to get out of here. Then I'm like, what? What? <laughs> where did... Anyway, that's the spawn, and then they all started coming out, and I'm like, oh, I'll just attack them all, and I keep running, and I'm like, no one noticed me, what? And then I think I get noticed, yeah. Yeah, I get slaughtered. Yeah, as you can see, my defense is pretty low. I spawned in the same spot again. I accidentally dragged it off the hotkey when I was trying to use the heal. Anyway, guys, yeah, so because I don't do much ship, -y, ship PvP, well, I never actually have been in one, even though I really love to, because it looks so fun, just sort of Pirates of the Caribbean style, hop onto the other people's ship and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm first DPS. Go me. So good. I don't know how I live with myself. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, because the Astral's like, it's not PvP oriented anymore, it's not ship v ship. You just rarely bump into any other league ships. Oh, there's the cannon kind of fire. It looks so cool, hey. Um, what, you, you rarely even go out in ships, to be honest, for more than five minutes because of the way they've changed Astral. I think they should, what they should do, I don't know if you, what you guys think about this, but they should make astral ship zones specifically for PvP, which are like skirmishes. You get the same rewards, but um, it sort of signs you up and you get a ship and you pre-group, sort of pre-merge a group instead of just randomly being teleported in with a random group like you do here. Um, as you can see, this paladin doesn't really want to die. He's tank spec clearly. He's got his sword and shield out. He's got higher runes, good gear, so he's basically trying to knock out teammate there off the cannon and then our teammate notices and then starts running. I don't know why he was running. But anyway, it's just us two and unfortunately the bard attacking with me has very low runes in gear. I mean it happens. Obviously people have got to learn. Anyway, did I... I keep shifting off topic. Sorry guys. Anyway, I can't get you an astral ship PvP video. I will try my best. I'll try and arrange something else. I might talk to some league people and see if we can do it. Um, but it's just, it's really hard. Um, right now I'm excited, perhaps, perhaps with the server increase, the server merge, things will change, but, you know, if they're anything like us, it's just gonna mean they're gonna, I don't know, just be playing the fastest they can to get the gear. The fun aspect of this game is sort of, it gets pushed a little to the side, I mean, you do have fun moments, except mostly people are just so focused on the gear and stuff that they forget the fun parts of the game. Anyway, what else did you guys want me to film? You wanted me to, um film Tropical Atoll, which is the holiday place. I did go there, except when I went there it was night time and it looked really bad and I was like, well, this isn't much of a holiday type place. Uh, anyway guys, yeah, I basically, I think I just killed this warden in time and then it ends, came first, I think it was 9 kills, 2 deaths, which isn't so bad. I mean, it, it's a video, I brought it to you. This was the new PvP skirmish, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, rate and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.